breathe in, take some deep breaths. Your belly should move, not your chest when you breathe deep. So just breathe a few more deep breaths. Breathe in for four. Hold for two. And breathe all the way out for another four. And as you do that, as you're filling your body up with air, as you're filling your body up with life and you're releasing the things that are no longer necessary for you in your exhales, I want you to think about the symbolic process of this. There is nothing more natural to a person than to breathe in the things that are good for you than to take in the newness of life than to have that refreshing and to exhale to leave behind the things that are no longer suited for you there is nothing more natural to you so as you're doing this i want you to think about some things that you really want to try you've always been thinking about it you've always had a desire or uh, you know, a vision in mind that someday, you know, when the time was right, you would do X, Y, and Z. Okay, but you've never got along uh, uh, around to it yet. I want you to think about that. Just as your lungs naturally expand and contract as you take in air, you breathe in again, you breathe in the things that are absolutely necessary for your life function and you exhale everything that is no longer suited for you, your comfort zone needs to go through this process as well. So you might be comfortable doing things a certain type of way, a specific routine, because it makes you feel safe. It's very predictable. And especially when there's been years of trauma, um, years of ongoing trauma that the, the routines are very tightly held to, even if they're not effective, they are in fact, even taking you further away from your goals. People will have a very hard time, uh, letting go of the things that feel safe and comfortable and predictable to them because they've had a, a life of chaos and, and they don't want, that's the one thing that they have. Right. But oftentimes stepping out of your comfort zone, it actually brings in, it rushes in this new life, fresh life, energy, new perspective into your routine, into the way that your life could potentially be living. So right now, I just want to take a couple of minutes as we revisit some of these dreams. Okay, I want you to think about what have you always wanted to do, but you've never gotten around to it? What is something that you've always wanted to try, to start, to establish, to join, to see, whatever it is for you? I want you to just think about that. Don't be afraid of these dreams. They were put in your heart for a reason. And just as you think about these things, as you allow yourself to get re reacquainted with these dreams um, and possibilities that you, you have had, I want you to say this to yourself. So put your hand in your heart and I want you to say to yourself, I embrace new opportunities with excitement and wonder. I follow through on my dreams by stepping out of my current routine. I step out of my comfort zone, which will help me to grow and to change. My dreams matter and I go after them with gusto. I just want you to sit here for just a second and I want you to see some areas that you have been quote unquote playing it safe where you have not been using 
the fullness of uh, your abilities, your imagination, even your faith uh, to go um, after your dreams. So where can you stop trying to play it safe or uh, uh, keep yourself in a cage that you have gotten really comfortable with? 